I received a summons for the transport. It was all so unforgettable. The last bath before the transport. All the preparations. The exceptional nervousness. What you took and what you didn't take. So how long beforehand did they inform you? I think it was a week or two beforehand for the ones like us who traveled in the third transport. I said that there were four transports from Moravska Ostrava and the surrounding area. There were two or three days between transports. Each one thought that he would save his life if he went on a later transport. Perhaps the war would end in the meantime. But even if it didn't, we still had four more days, or at least a few more days, until our turn arrived. I remember that among the children there in our class, we would say goodbye to friends who went before us, children of the same age. We said we'd meet in three months' time in exactly the same place. The war would certainly be over by then, and we'd meet then and there. The dream of that has haunted me almost my entire life. I remember that last meeting with my good friend. All the best friends were the same age. Of course, that friend, Fritz Steimer, who was very, very gifted, an exceptionally gifted boy, immediately continued on from Theresienstadt to Auschwitz, and I never saw him again. A few days later, when I arrived at Theresienstadt, he was no longer there.